वेलकम टू नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दुलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल बेस्ड ऑन सुपरनोड एनालिसिस इन दिस वीडियो सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट सुपरनोड एनालिसिस दैट इज वॉट वी यूज वेन यू हैव ऑनली बैटरी कनेक्टेड इन बिटवीन टू नोड्स सो हियर यू सी आई हैव गिवन अ क्वेश्चन in which we are dealing with to find value of va that is a voltage at this terminal now to solve this circuit i need to consider nodes so here i am considering let us say this is my node v1 and let us say this is my node v2 now as i have told you super node analysis that is applicable only if we have voltage source in between two nodes so you see in between v1 and v2 we have voltage source that is of value of 0.8 va right so super node is applicable here as per v1 and v2 is having only battery connection in between these two node so first i'll write down basic equation of this battery so that is having positive terminal with v1 and negative terminal with v2 so i can say v1 minus v2 is equals to 0.8 va voltage so let us simplify this further i can write v1 minus v2 minus 0.8 va and let us say this is equation 1 so there is only battery in between v1 and v2 so i can say this is my super node so when we talk about super node then you need to consider that combinedly v1 and v2 both are single node only that is referred as super node so how to apply kirchhoff current law kcl in super node that i'll explain you step by step so first we need to consider direction of current randomly so here i'm considering current i1 here i am considering current i2 here i am considering current i3 here i am considering current i4 and here i am considering current i5 now what i'll do is i'll apply kcl to this super node so with this super node we need to find entering current is equals to leaving current and see with this super node v1 and v2 combinedly it is single node only and inside this node i don't need to show any current remember this so with this super node entering current is i1 so that is happening at v1 and with v2 there is no entering current so in total with this super node entering current is i1 and that is equals to leaving current so with v1 leaving current is i2 and with v2 leaving current is i4 and i5 so i can say total leaving current to this super node that is i2 plus i4 plus i5 now let us find the value of currents so you see i1 that is happening in this direction along with the direction of this current source so i1 is 5 ampere i2 is happening in this direction and that is v1 minus va divided by 2 ohm as per this direction i4 that is happening from v2 in outward direction and that is there in this direction which is in the direction of current source so i can say i4 is 8 ampere i5 is happening in this direction and here we have ground that i can say so i5 that is v2 minus ground means v2 divided by 2.5 so let us simplify this further so i need to take lcm so 2 and 2.5 so 2 into 2.5 that is 5 that will be my lcm and 5 and this 8 is over here so 8 will go on other side so that will make it to minus 3 so i need to write minus 3 is equals to v1 minus va by 2 plus v2 divided by 2.5 now here i need to consider lcm which is 2 into 2.5 so that is 5 so 5 into minus 3 that is minus 15 and that is equals to now 2.5 that will get multiply here 
सो टू पॉइंट फाइव इन टू वी वन माइनस वी ए एंड टू विल गेट मल्टीप्लाई विथ वी टू सो प्लस टू वी टू लेट मी सिंप्लीफाई दिस इक्वेशन फार्दर सो फर्स्ट आई राइट डाउन वी वन टर्म सो दैट इज टू पॉइंट फाइव वी वन देन आई राइट वी टू टर्म सो दैट इज प्लस टू वी टू and then i'll write va term that is minus 2.5 va and that is equals to minus 15 so this is my equation 2 and that is what equation based on super node now we have one more node that is node va so with node va let us apply kcl so with node va Entering current is I four and leaving current is I three and I two is also entering current. So I can say entering current is I two plus I four and leaving current is I three. So I two plus I four is equals to I three. I two is there in this direction, so that is V one minus V eight divided by two plus. I four is there in this direction. That is there in the direction of current source, which is of eight ampere. So I four is eight, and I three is there in this direction. So V A minus ground means V A by phi. So here, let us take LCM. So two into phi ten will be our LCM. So phi into V one minus V A plus eight into ten. So that will be eighty, and that is equals to now two will get multiplied with V A. So two V A. Now let me write V one term first. So phi V A phi V one that is this. Now minus phi V A and this two V A that will come on other side. So minus seven V A that is equals to minus eighty that I can say. So let us consider this is our equation three. Now what I'll do is I'll solve all these equations right. So let me write these equations. After that, I'll solve it step by step. Now we will solve these three equations. So for that, first I need to find value of delta, and delta will be as per this coefficients. So here I need to write one minus two minus zero point eight, two point five two. Minus two point five, five zero and minus seven. Let us solve this in calculator. So one into two into minus seven that is minus fourteen minus zero into this so that will be zero minus minus two so that is plus two into two point five into minus seven so that is minus. 2.5 into 7 minus minus 2.5 into 5, so that is plus 2.5 into 5, and then minus 0.8 into 2.5 into 0 minus 5 into 2, so minus 10 that I need to write. So this is minus 16. Now, when you want to calculate V A as that is our equation, so I need to say I need to find delta three as per third column, and I need to replace this coefficients by this coefficient. So I am writing zero minus fifteen minus eighty, and this coefficients will be as it is one minus two two point five two five and zero. And if you solve this in calculator, so this is minus four one zero. So based on that, we can say V A is delta three by delta. And if you solve this, so that is twenty five point six two. And here I want you to write your answer regarding V one and V two, so that you can have it by. Delta one by delta and delta two by delta, and I want you to write your answer in comments. And one more video that is there regarding supernode analysis, so you just see that 
that will give you a bit more clear idea on this playlist of network theory. I hope you have understood this video. Thank you so much for watching this video.